Today, I welcome Dr. Ella Behrouz, who just recently completed her DDS at the University of Toronto. And she's about to go into grad prosto uh, program at U of T as well, uh, very, very soon. But she wants to tell us about an experience that she had recently in Uganda as part of the, um, the U of T outreach program, um, during which that she was involved with denture making in a rather unique way. Um, in conjunction with Prostodontic Associates, um, large prostho practice in Toronto. Ella, tell us a little bit about your um, outreach program experience in Africa. Hi, John. This is so nice to be here. Thank you for having me here. Um, I have been very, very fortunate to be part of an amazing organization called Bridge to Health Medical and Dental. Uh, this organization is a Toronto-based organization, basically, um, and it provides medical and dental care in rural underserviced areas in Uganda right now, currently. Uh, its mission is to provide sustainable health care, medical and dental, in a cost-effective manner in such areas, in underserviced areas, basically, so that it has a lasting impact on the health care system over there, basically. It works together with a local reputable uh, organization called Kihefo. And uh, together, they not only provide medical and dental health care, basically, they also improve the delivery of health care in rural areas. They train the personnel or the healthcare workers and educate the communities over there. And I was very fortunate to be part of this group last year um, because of my uh, association with Prostonic Associates here in Toronto, I was able to join a team of GPs, specialists, hygienists, and dental students. And we went down to Uganda and we did amazing work. It was really a lot of fun. It was an amazing experience, John. It really was. And was prosthodontics a big part of what was done um, on that mission trip? So, um, Originally, in dental outreach programs, because of the limited time and the supplies and resources, it is not very easy to provide prosthodontic care. Basically, the main focus is on infection elimination via dental extractions and then um, antibiotic therapy, pain management, cleanings, restorations. Um, however, prosthodontic rehabilitation of patients, it's not very easy as you can as you can imagine. This time, however, by using Eclipse, we were able to do single day fabricated dentures, which was an amazing, amazing experience for us and for the patients who were not expecting it. So, so I think you used Eclipse in a number of unique ways. We actually managed to use Eclipse in three different ways, and I'm very excited to tell you about it. Uh, so, um, we used it as a denture-based material to make a removable partial prosthesis and also as a reline material for complete removable prosthesis fabrication, basically. So for our partial, partial dentures that we made, we managed to use Eclipse in two different ways. One would be, as I would call it, maybe a relatively conventional manner of using a material as a denture base. So we would take alginate impressions of the patients, and this could be used in an immediate or a non-immediate way, way. So we would take alginate impressions, we would pour them in facet stone, and then we would adapt the composite, the Eclipse composite to the areas that we wanted to have the denture base. Then we would trim and adjust teeth to fit in the dentulous space, and then we would basically bond and cure the teeth together with the denture base, which was made of the composite resin. Um, Separation from the cast, adjusting occlusion, fit, and delivery of the patient would be very similar to a conventional prosthesis, basically. Uh, the second way that we used it was intraorally. So we would use it um, as, again, the denture based material, adapted intraorally to the tissue, um, the areas that we, again, wanted to be covered by the denture base. We would cure it intraorally. And the rest of the procedure would be very similar uh, to working from a cast. But obviously, there would be advantages and disadvantages to both methods. And working intraorally, John, was more difficult than I, uh, I imagined it would be. Um, I mean, uh, it definitely uh, 
saves you the time and the equipment for taking impressions and pouring the impression. Uh, but it is definitely much easier and more accurate to work from a cast. Fair enough. And uh, the, the third way, I believe you brought like almost pre-made dentures, is that right? And, and custom fitted them. Tell us about that. So yes, we did have a thermoplastic denture basis with conventional acrylic denture teeth on top, set on top in different sizes. So we would choose the best uh, size for the patient. And then we would uh, improve the tissue surface adaptation by relining with uh, Eclipse. So um, we make complete dentures from the patients right. who were completely edentulous. And so how quickly did you provide those uh, patients? How, like from, from beginning to end, like how, what, what was the time span? It would depend on how many people would be working on a single denture, but I would say typically an hour, an hour and a half for one denture. So pretty exciting. Pretty exciting and great that you were able to provide um, prostheses in, in, in that resource constrained environment. Would you recommend um, a placement like that to other um, students in future? I actually had a talk recently to, with the fourth year University of Toronto students, and I encouraged each and every one of them to apply to this outreach program. I find that it changed my perspective. Um, there were a lot of things that I learned to appreciate my life, and also to know that, you know, you can make single day fabricated dentures, which is pretty exciting. Um, I think you really get a new perspective of life when you go on such outreach programs. I would definitely recommend it. Definitely, definitely. And if I am allowed to go again, um, a director of my program would be deciding if I am allowed to go or not, because I'm doing grad process so starting in August. But... I would definitely love to join the team again if given the option. We'll have to twist his arm to get you to go again, eh? <laughs> I'm going to count on you. <laughs> Ella, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you for having me here. It was an honor. Thank you.